Here we have an example where we are trying to eliminate the parameter for this parametric equation. Now one thing I can tell right off the bat is that this guy is going to sketch out a circle. And the reason I know that is um, if you wanted to make up like a, a chart with t's, x's, and y's, as you pick different t values, you're going to get a cosine and a sine depending on your choice of t. Uh, the cosine would be the x coordinate of a point and the sine would be the y coordinate of the point. And so, for example, you know, if t was 0, you'd be at the point 1, 0. One, cosine of 0 is 1, that's your x. Sine of 0 is 0, and so your y is 0. So at time 0, you'd be at the point 1, 0. And then as you pick different t values, let's say pi over 4, then don't forget you're actually doubling these t values before you plug them into sine and cosine. You might look at this and say, well, well wait, Devin, that's not pi over 4, that's pi over 2. Well, remember that I'm not talking about t as the angle, I'm talking about t as the time. And that's the t value that we're plugging in. We're actually doubling that t value before we're taking sine and cosine of it. So if you plug in pi over 4 for t, you'd be at 0, 1. And then you'd be at negative 1, 0 for pi over 2. And then um, 0, negative 1 for t equals 3 pi over 4. And then lastly, back at... Uh, 1, 0 when t is pi, because you'd have cosine of 2 pi and sine of 2 pi. So, um, so anyway, this is a parametric equation, and I'd like to write the equation of this circle with, without it being in parametric form. So now I, I know the equation of a circle, but how do we get from there from here? Well, um, one thing you can do to eliminate the parameter that we discussed in a previous video is you could solve for the t in one equation, and then substitute that value or that expression in for t and the other expression. But for something like this, that would be pretty pretty bad, honestly. Because if you look at this, if you solve for t, let's say in the first equation, you would have arc cosine of x e equals 2t. So t would be you know, arc cosine of um, x all divided by 2. And then all that would be substituted into a sine expression. That's just that's just uh, horrendous. That's surely not not the way this is going to play out. And in fact, is it is going to be a little bit different. What what jumps out to me is I know an equation that has sines and cosines in it, but what it's equal to does not have sines and cosines. And in other words, it doesn't have t's. And what I'm thinking of is the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And the theta could be anything. It could be sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, or t or 2t. The, what's in the sine or cosine doesn't matter as long as these are the same, which is what we have, right? I have a 2t and a 2t. So based off of this identity that I know, I know that sine squared 2t plus cosine squared 2t should be equal to 1, right? Because if you're at some point along this unit circle here and you're at this x, y location, or cosine 2t comma sine 2t, and I know this identity holds, then I can rewrite this in terms of x and y. So this would be y squared plus x squared equals 1, and I've suddenly got an equation that has x's and y's in it but doesn't have t's, and that's fantastic. That's exactly what I'm after. And so just every so often you'll see this type of eliminate the parameter procedure. And like I said, it usually happens with trig functions because you're relying on this Pythagorean identity for uh, trig functions. And, but it's a tool that we have that we can use to eliminate the parameter.